Hey, welcome to the fourth anniversary of our Extreme Live. It only took four years to get here, Devin, but we're here. <laughs> and we're sorry that Charles could not be with us on this special night tonight, right. but he just wasn't able to be here. So we miss you, Charles, and look forward yeah. to being back with you again. Back in January, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully back in January. We'll start off another year. But yeah, it's been four years, and, yep. and we got a show chock full of goodness tonight, David. I mean, yep. it's... it's uh, going to be just full of all kinds of wonderful goodies and speaking of chocolate, speaking of one of our well it could a, be one it, they could a, a be proposed yeah sponsor of our could be life. i think it'd be a good fit i do too you know my day chock always full starts off better with chock full of nuts chock full like of nuts coffee so yeah. that's a shameless blatant right. proposed sponsor but tonight we may have a brew food. up some fun with chock full of nuts there you go so we got a lot <laughs> to get in tonight and uh one of the things we're going to try to do tonight is have incoming emails and phone calls. And uh, why don't we check some of our emails? Have we got an email coming yeah, in? I think there's one coming in right, right now. What do we got Let's coming see. in? Here. I'll put it up on the screen. All right. Oh, good. It did come in. There. Well, Edna got, all right. Well, that's uh, somebody, what they write there, said, thanks for four great years of ArtStream Live. I've right. always wondered how many production companies are involved with ArtStream Live. Oh, there's been several over the last year or so. And uh, just like our proposed sponsors, but mm -hmm. uh, you're right, we actually have had a lot of production right. companies, you know, and Big Bucks been it, a part it, of that behind the scenes and with our research right. and outreach program. So. It takes a lot more to do this, this webisode than people think. It so. actually does, and these production companies are helping. So why don't we, we've got a little, uh, well, why don't we show yeah. them? We'll just, We're just going to yeah. give a un, our blatant plugs to our help. All right, that'd Here be great.
back mine! I pity the fool. A little refreshing. Oh yeah, let me get that in there right. Okay. Ah, how refreshing That's and right. smooth. Nothing quite like a nice cold Diet Coke. They could be our sponsor. Another proposed sponsor That's of our right. stream live. But yes, that was refreshing. <laughs> People don't realize how much goes into this production. No, they the don't. Things. And that's just some of our production companies. And who knows, we'll probably pick up more in the next year. So keep coming back and watching. But you know, mm -hmm. that's what's fun about this. We've had a lot of good episodes. We've had one every month this past year. A lot of different things have come up. And let's see, we I think Big Buck's back there or one of our callers, screen callers, operators are standing by. Do we have any let's see incoming if something's calls? coming in. All right, let's see. Well, that's that was a good that's a good question. Yeah, they uh, mm -hmm. asking about our, our interesting little segments we do. Yeah, we've had a lot of those this year, and uh, right. I think we got something we could show them to kind of give an idea what little, we've done. Little little outtakes here that'll explain. So, now I think you have something to share tonight, right? Well, yeah, we have this reoccurring little segment we call Funky Finds, Funky Video Finds on the Internet. And you can so, always you can always use a little funk in life. I so. Agree. Here's uh, uh, two or three minutes of funk. All right. Funky video fans on the interweb. I have looked up the three most popular search terms that are typed into eBay for people who buy paintings. These terms are nude, sleeping angel, and Thomas Kincaid. By combining these terms, we will create a painting that is the most found among all searched paintings on eBay. We will have the largest audience and therefore the greatest chance of finding a buyer. I, you know, I got nothing against Thomas Kincaid. I think he's awesome. I mean, he sold a bunch of <laughs> paintings and he didn't even have to paint half of them. Whatever, whatever explanation you have for buying my artwork is fine with me. I am not responsible for the viewer's experience of my work. Here is our most profitable painting that we could possibly put on eBay. It'll come up the most often when people search original paintings on eBay. And it took me under an hour to do. Yeah, video. I'm on the internet. Hey everybody, 
welcome to Let's Paint TV. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint TV. All right, uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's go ahead and get our brushes ready here. And again, we're gonna we're gonna paint. We're gonna run. We're gonna we're gonna blend in healthy drinks, guys. Healthy drinks right over here. Let's. All right, five miles an hour. Let's go up to six miles an hour, guys. Six miles an hour here. Five point nine, actually. There's the bun. Okay. Now let's let's get the strawberry. There's the strawberry right there. Uh, and, and, there we go. Let's uh, we, we blew the, the circuits here at Let's Paint TV. Good way to end the, sh the, end the show. We're still here, guys. Kitchen's on, refrigerator. You know what? I, don't, I think everything's fine there. I just... Well, you know, well, you know, why don't we give a fucking shot? Is that time for that to come out? I think so. In Hi, I'm Corey, Mr. Safety, and today I'm gonna paint a bowl of fruit with a shot collar on. Oh, God! <laughs> I just need to get this outline done, man. I've already messed up. <laughs> Alright, I'm getting my strawberries. These are my strawberries. Put my strawberries in. <laughs> I already got paint on myself. It's bowl painted here. You know, that's not such a bad Yuck! Goat! Did you turn it up? No. I swear dude, it's getting hot. It's like getting harder. Do you want to try? Uh, sure. Oh god. How do you do this? You're supposed to yellow button. Am I supposed to yellow button? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's already on the highs. All right, I'm done. One name is only for people who have earned it, like Picasso. Taxes and art should never mix. Okay, quiet. It's time for Kurt's art book review. Yes, all right. Well, I've got one tonight. I wanted to show everybody. All right, there you go. All right, that's the cover. This is a pretty good uh, book. Uh, the two gentlemen that wrote it actually won a Pulitzer Prize for writing another book about Jackson Pollock. Right. Called The Life Van Gogh, and their names are Stephen Nafeff and Gregory White Smith. Maybe, I might start doing book reviews. There you I don't go. Know for get, art. Get, get into but the this, literary release. If you want to know about Vincent Van Gogh, this, this, is, yeah, this is the book. <laughs> It'll be fun to share. It's called The Anecdotes of Modern Art. I said it right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a book by uh, Donald Hall and Pat Corriton Weeks. And it's, uh, yeah. a, it's, <laughs> it actually runs from Henri Rousseau to Andy Warhol. And there's over 200 artists featured in it. Practice is really about, uh, you know, like the ephemeral and, and the temporal and like just this juxtaposition between gesture and text and, and stillness and movement. And, and I really try to do it in a way that's like not over aestheticized. Cause, but like that brings like this whole idea of commodification and like America and like how society is like so obsessed with consumption and capitalism. So I use a lot of green in my paintings. 
But, like, I'm basically just using this, like, reductive process of visual style, but it's, like, not stylized because I'm, like, not a graphic designer or, like, like, an illustrator or something. But, like, my work is really about, like, the non-objective but, like, you know, like, externalized in the beholder's subjective experience. At the end of the day, my work is really like an exploration of like the Apollonian and Dionysian and like these great dichotomies and like really unpacking these opposing forces and like, you know, exploring just like primal unity, you know? So we've had a lot of good features and a little segments uh, we've done during the year, and uh, yeah. you know that like that funky find from the interweb. That's a classic. We'll that's have to right. do more of those. Oh, there's there's plenty in the works. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then well, all of know, our production companies are working on that. And you never know uh, with the tidbits of wisdom. I'm sure there'll be more great David quotes oh, in yeah. the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, <laughs> our classic. Mystery Art Theater. <laughs> but you know, Dave, this is holiday time coming up, right? And you know what? The toothpick and just a little spam. You can have wonderful holiday hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. Don't you think it's, a, it's always a good time or sound for spam? <laughs> right? Right. All right. Well, that's another shameless proposed sponsor for our yeah. on. I think we had a little blip in the sound there, but... Oh. Uh, we're back now. Okay, you want me to... Well, let's do that well, again. Yeah, right. It's I, good enough for doing it twice. I want to give them full credit. You That's know, right. With the holiday season coming up. We do not like the, the inter internet spam. Right. But uh, with this kind of spam right. and a toothpick, you have instant holiday yeah. hors d'oeuvres. Mm -hmm. For any guest. If you've got a cast iron skillet, you're even better off. Kids, forget the cookies and milk. Leave the shop for Santa. The reindeer love it, too. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, what about, we got any more uh, incoming in emails? We yeah, let me that. check Let's here. Let's we'll put it up on the screen. Got. Here it is. Ah. So, here, what, let's see. Okay, what's that one say? Uh, thanks, thanks for taking my email, I believe. Right. I want to wish you guys a happy fourth anniversary. Well, thank you. That's very nice. Some of the ideas and art topics you feature are quite entertaining and interesting. Well, thank you. What do you think were some of the best and special parts of your episodes this year? Well, I think we could, we may have something to answer that, David. I, I think, yeah, we've got right. another compilation of uh, well, why tidbits we, from this past year. Well, Big Buck's on, he's on yeah. work. To, no, good right. going, Big Buck. All right, we'll show yeah. him that. See, he's, he lays down on the job a lot, but he gets yeah, work done. But he's getting it done. All okay, right. Okay, here we go. And uh, do you want to do any setup? We can discuss it after they watch it, I guess. No, there'll be more later. Okay. There'll be more later? You're right. That's, there okay. could be, could be. <laughs> There's going to be more later. Mystery Art Theater! One's an art form. It's basically just the creation of objects added in one space. I have a lot going on in my head, and I needed a, an outlet, basically, to express myself. So mooring was the answer for me. Looking clean, man. Definitely one of my most famous uh, moors has to be the basketball tree. I think, actually, it's still there, and they're going to be putting it under the perspex, is what I've heard. Everybody wants to put everything in a box and box it up so they understand it and f they feel comfortable with it. What we're doing is, is trying to not have a box or a frame. Check this one out. You know, most of the time, our moors only last a few days. Sometimes people come and take them away. Sometimes the government, birds come and eat them. You know, when you're a moor, the universe is your canvas. <laughs> Jealous. Yeah. Hey man, the latest in cutting edge in art. It's right here in Art Stream Live. Well, you know what they say?
So tonight, Art Stream Live presents wow. unusual museums <laughs> and their collections. Let's start off with the International Museum of Toilets. Yes, you heard right. Oh, man. This is located in New Delhi, India. Now we'll go up to number nine. And this is Leela's Hair Museum. Hmm. And she's located in Independence, Missouri. This is one guys can really appreciate, suburbia. <laughs> you know, these things okay. help add to the carbon footprint. People claim longmores. <laughs> and this is the British Longmore <laughs> Museum, located in Southport, Merosset Side, England. All right, now another unusual museum that has some unusual collection is called the Dog Collar Museum <laughs> in Kent, England. And it's part of the League's Castle. This one's a little little different and mm -hmm. bizarre from the country of Malaysia, located in a place called Malacca, Malaysia. It's the Museum of Enduring Beauty. Mm. All right. Now, another interesting little museum collection is called the Salt <coughs> and Pepper Shaker Museum. It's spicy. Spicy. <laughs> located in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. All right. Next. This one, how do we... I just bring the picture up and we'll start with that or, or I'm waiting to hear what you've got to add. Okay, bring it up. Yes. Yep. The Icelandic Paleological Museum. And how would you say that, David? Is that Reykjavik, Iceland? Was that close enough? Reykjavik. Reykjavik. That sounds good. It's located there in Iceland. Now, I like this. One. Yep. This is the International Cryptozoology Museum located in Portland, Maine. Hmm. Now, you might ask, what is cryptozoology? Yeah, that's it. That'd be that's yeah. it. It's the study of unverified mystical creatures. That's right. That's right. Sp spam. Our famous. Spam is the one like and only Spam Museum located in Austin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Minnesota. Yum, yeah. yum, Save yum. that jelly that they put it in. Too. Fried that's that right, and made to the side. But to me, tonight, I've saved the best for last. <laughs> MOBA. 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 No, no, nothing to MOBILE. <laughs> but it's but the it's Museum Mo of Bad Art. Oh. Mm. Oh, legendary. Now, we've delved into this subject We before. have. We, and we actually had a mystery art theater oh, dealing love, with this I love this subject people. matter. This yeah. is one of my favorites. The painting in the top right of that image. Mm. The wonderful grandma, that's the one that started the whole collection. That's, that, they call that the MOBA Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah, I just, I was thinking this afternoon about uh, people's expectations when they mm -hmm. see a, piece, a price on a piece mm -hmm. of artwork. What they expect for their hundred bucks, or their two hundred, or a thousand, yeah. or two thousand, or, or their ten thousand. But uh, sometimes they don't realize what's behind that no, price on the artwork. No. So uh, I made a little short video, sort of explains where the money goes. Well, right. I think that, that pretty, explains it. That explains yeah, it pretty that's, straightforward. That gives something the, uh, for the public to uh, look at. Well, you know?
something new. Something new. Here it is. The art of. The art of. The art of what? That's the The question. art of blank. The art of everything. Right. Something we came up with, we talked a little bit about last month, but David, why don't you... Now that we have sound, right. why don't you tell us some of the research you've done for this? Well, I, I've just noticed that that phrase is used a lot and in conjunction with uh, just about everything. So, mm -hmm. out of curiosity, I did a web search, just a web search of the fine art of, okay. I left it open, and in 15 minutes I came up with a big list. Here's a list of, oh, I don't know, it's at least, uh, what, at least... 50, 60. Oh, on here, and it says subjects. there are hundreds more. There are hundreds more. Wow. So, uh, I like this one. The art of getting by. Right. Okay. The art of tea making. <laughs> the art of <laughs> well, the well, art if, of plumbing. If, if you've been, if you've been an artist as long as no, we have, we no, know about the, the art, art of art getting, getting by. by. <laughs> no, this is one. Now, Charles, yeah. Charles has got this one nailed down. The art of manliness. Manliness. Charles <laughs> has got that. Yeah, that's a. I love mm, the, the art of pretending. Well, right, well you are oh, David, the art of carpentry, I'd have to say. Oh, it's, that, but, it, but this is yeah, not. I know. <laughs> the art of pretending that you know fine art? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, the art of tinkering. How about that? All the right. fine art of radiator, radiator making. <laughs> I mean, okay. Well, I don't like this one. The art of gra cutting grass. Well, uh, the worst one on the list right here is the fine art of taxation. No, I want to find, <laughs> find a guy. Well, I think, uh, you know, I the think fine the, art of dying. That's my, that's, that's me. Yeah. No, I, think that, that's the I need to talk to that guy when he gets back. Well, there's one on here. I, I know several people are quite interested in the art of fermentation. That's right. That's yeah. right. I've folks that, what is this? The art of Italian hand gestures? What in the world is it's, well, that? <laughs> I will not try it. It's, yeah. it's, since we're rated G, I cannot. We cannot, we cannot, we cannot demonstrate, demonstrate that. Right well, that's where we need to exercise the art of etiquette. <laughs> that's right. So we will exercise yeah. that here. I mean, there's a, the list. Of, the art of cuddling. Right. Uh, <laughs> hey man, you don't do okay. that. Don't do that. Well, no, no. Gonna, right, the art of coffee making. There'd be people that would think right. that's you know daydreaming, vacationing. That would be fun to develop. The art of deception. Well, yep. we'll leave that to the politicians. Uh, deer skinning. Okay. Oh, the art of doing nothing. <laughs> and then the art of okay. doing. So, okay. <laughs> so it's all here. Okay. <laughs> These so are let's... all on the list, folks. All right. Well, one. Okay, so that was her 10 picks for what she thought were scary paintings, <laughs> but not to be outdone. Ta-da! Yes, we at Art Stream Live have decided we have our 10 <laughs> scary artworks that we're going to look at tonight in quick succession here. So, All right. our first candidate is Edvard Munch, the famous Got to be Green. number one. Always number one. Oh, yes. Yeah, one of my favorites. Yep. Yeah, Francis a, Bacon. I think he was a disturbed person. That was a good example. Now our next candidate is James Enzar, and this he he did a series of different skeleton paintings. Yeah. Peter Bruegel the Elder. Another one who must have had nightmares well, as a child. This painting has always freaked me. Yeah. It's called The Triumph of Death. Henri Marquette, Marguerite. And this painting is called Not to Be Repro Reproduced. And I always thought this was a really freaky image. Imagine you get up in the morning, you walk in the bed, <laughs> in the bathroom, look in the mirror. Yeah. This is what you see. William Bougereau. This is Dante and Virgil in Hell, 1850. Okay, back to my buddy Francisco Goya. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody could paint freakier looking people than this guy. <laughs> now, I always thought this painting was kind of disturbing. disturbing. I, mm -hmm. I feel sorry for this guy. You know, you talk about having a bad day. Your boat is falling apart. Mm -hmm. It ain't a big boat to start with. There's blood in the water. You got sharks all around. And let's throw a typhoon in on top of it. A nice water spout. Adolf no. Herschel. Hmm. Hiram Herschel. And this is an interesting piece. I just thought it was kind of spooky. The thing about it, it doesn't look dated. I mean, you look at the time it was painted. Mm -hmm. It's older than you think, but it looks like it'd be done today. And it has to do with the idea of the uh, tradition of the wandering Jew. Number 10, 
is the famous Guernica by Pablo Picasso. Well, right. Now, before we go to it, right. this is a bonus <laughs> slide of what we consider one of the most frightening images ever made. It is made. so frightening it stands on its own. It's beyond the ten yeah, we, most frightening. I agree. So we saved the best for last. So. Everybody brace yourselves. All right, you're sitting down. I'm ready. Yep, Bring her up. Ah. Dogs playing poker. Oh, oh, I, I'm. I mean, could there be anything more frightening than that? So that that wraps up our idea of can art be scary? And mm -hmm. I think we've pretty well established it. Yes, it can. It be. can. Yep. Start with art and taxes tonight. Art and taxes. Okay. Uh, in fact, usually, I know usually in, in most economic systems, if you want to have less of something, you mm -hmm. tax it. Right. And you get less of it. Right. Your cities that have a more developed, uh, let's say, art scene. Right. They're they're putting up tax-free zones for art. Sales mm -hmm. tax too. So we're, as you notice, we're just we're moving on through this pretty quickly. Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. a difficult and very complica complicated issue, but these are just sort of ideas and a sort of an outline of, of our thoughts. And so. it is an issue that does get artists talking. They gave you a form. You had the permanent form tied together. It was easy, <clears throat> but it was for that one event. Right. So if you were now, if you were in Ohio doing shows, oh, you're in Ohio. They had different things set up. This is more like an out of town. Mm -hmm. And it was perfect for me. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about anything. It was easy. I gave them five bucks. I came in, did the show, paid my taxes. They had the permit. Right. I had the permit. Everybody permits. was happy. They had a record of me <laughs> being there, and they got their money, and, and everybody was happy. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, I didn't feel like they were reaching in my back pocket and just taking everything out I had. Right. Which the other way feels like that's how, you know. Yeah, it, if, especially at outdoor shows, I mean, it, it was always handled as a group thing. Right. So it le it, it was more efficient mm -hmm. for the collecting agency. They actually got some benefit out of it then. Right. It wasn't as a huge burden on the artist, so the artist, you know, mm -hmm. felt like Let's okay. Into, we can I do know this. this is one of your favorite taxes: use tax. Uh, use tax. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy, taxing art donations. Yeah, this is a sore subject too. <laughs> uh, every artist gets asked to do donate art mm -hmm. and uh, almost no one asking them to donate art realize that they cannot take a deduction no they cannot they can take only they can take costs. materials no right. labor no, no profit no nothing no. well the solution the, to solution. these problems Here it is. are tax-free or enterprise zones and they've been proven to be very cost-effective so that's our pitch I mean yeah. The benefits for local, state, and even on the federal level are, mm -hmm. are tremendous. Uh, it supports the arts and the artists directly. And like you've That's said, the important part is that this the supports the artists right. directly. So, I mean, what do you think? You had the opportunity to call us on this very phone. All right. But uh, time is passing, so. Well, that's our spin on it. Tonight. That's our spin on it. And what we, we got think? our two cents worth in. You could have. That's right. And. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, I think the phone lines are backing up a little bit. Maybe we better check and see if we got any more incoming calls. Okay. I think. Uh, let's see here. See so if we got any calls coming. Here we go. Oh, here we good. Go. Good. Well, hey there, darlings. Happy anniversary. You all are just the sweetest bunch of artists ever. I can't believe it's been four years. Did y'all share and exhibit any of your artworks this past year? Well, as a matter of fact, we did. Oh, well, good, good. Okay, yeah. well, I think, uh, <laughs> well, she wanna, we, boy, did we show some artwork this yeah. year. I think that we all did. Well, here's the little video that will answer oh, her question. All right, let's we'll answer.
from here. That's the graphics. I want full graphics. I thought we did that. Hey, I know no, folks no, say aren't ain't anything important. It doesn't That's really fine. have much no, value in everyday on. life. I mean, I didn't click on. What good is art? Has it helped or make anybody happy? What do you guys think? I didn't click on it. <laughs> well, I'm not quite sure where we oh, went. We there. got another call coming in? <laughs> it looks like let's see if I can get him back on the line right. here. Hello? Hey, I know folks say iron ain't anything important and doesn't really have much value in everyday life. I mean, what good is art? Has it helped or make anybody happy? What do you guys think? Well, what do you think? Well, we actually did do some things that where art did help people. I, I thought so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did. We had several little uh, projects through the year, and well, some... can I say it? There's one in particular that sure. was very helpful. The extraordinary the traveling, traveling art, art show, show yeah. where we actually <laughs> loaned our artwork out to individuals for over a year. It mm -hmm. went from house to house across the country, and actually uh, was quite helpful to many folks. In fact, one individual used it in a nursing home while he recovered from mm. hip surgery. Yeah. So, so it was useful. It was useful. Yeah. Then we had uh, a good segment on uh, artists cataloging their artwork it was uh, basically this the video we showed with it was uh, mm -hmm. uh, elderly artist that it was a project of a college and what was that called I think you got a graphic of that if we did. Yeah. yeah and uh, art cart the art was cart, the organization right. but they used college students to come in and help uh, artists catalog the artwork they had for over 50 mm -hmm. 60 70 years and uh, it actually uh, not only helped the artists, it helped the students, and it, and uh, some of the artists actually rekindled their careers. And with uh, gallery we, shows. you know, part of segment two that we did is actually did a little online research to suggest for artists software mm -hmm. that would help them in their studios to help keep track of artwork, right? Connections with galleries, receipts, outdoor shows. So we, were, yeah, there's many ways art can be helpful to people and do good. So there's just a couple of quick examples right off from our past year. Mm -hmm. Now, were we able to get back that video for our, did we show our, exhibit our artwork? Well, what did we show that? But I want to brag on Charleston on them. Yep. Oh, what Something, did that do? Well, I tell you what happened. I'm gonna I'm gonna set it up and brag on you a little bit. Hey, well, hey, when you, it ain't brag when it's true, right? The Mobile Museum of Art has a large collection of Alabama artists, and uh, the State Arts Council they have the Georgine Clark Alabama Artist Gallery. They have a new director there, uh, Elliot Knight. 
-hmm. He had contacted the museum, and we gave him a vast list of Alabama artists. And Charles was one of the selected out of 25 artists, of all the artists. Charles is one of them got picked. Yeah. And Charles has got two pieces in the exhibition. But I thought we'd share that tonight and brag on you about it. I'm famous. That, well, you are famous. <laughs> That's good. And uh, <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> Yeah. I'm doing some. Right, yeah, what do you want to show them? Oh. Little, little mini paintings. These, are, oh, okay. these are in the process, but basically these are index cards oh. that have been virtually encased in acrylic paint, so they ain't oh. going anywhere. No, they're not. They're permanent you now. But uh, small paintings. I'll probably post these eventually somewhere. Uh, another thing, uh, let's see, I don't know if I have it up here. Yeah. Well, we can save it for next time. I think something special. We're talking about Charles tonight, and he's kind of a center of attention here. Oh, didn't you have something fun happen a, on a Friday night a week ago? Yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show it was opening. A, yeah, we had a uh, opening at the Eastern Show Art Association. Uh, it was Tut Riddick and I. We did a uh, collaborative group of pots, and we've been doing that over a period of years. So we got some of those on the exhibit, and then. Uh, we did the other split, which is took painting, and then I did my recent work. So we got mm -hmm. it's more of a three-piece mm -hmm. uh, exhibit. Something that uh, I've been involved with just recently, mm -hmm. and it's a website, Seditions Art and uh, .com. Digital Art. I'm sorry. All sorts of everything from videos to mm -hmm. to. Uh, uh, I think we did a still still images. Art we did a yeah, we, we did, did. We, we, sure did. we sure did. And uh, so I decided to try it, mm -hmm. and uh, I've actually sold a couple of uh, editions.
And so tonight is part of the historical moment on our stream live. Charles, I have your un portrait made by me tonight. Oh yeah? I'm now going to present well, it to you. Who is this? There you go. Hey, that's pretty cool. You know, David, we showed a lot of art during a the year. A lot of artwork, yeah. And when I show all that art, I get tired. I get hungry. Me too. Do you know what helps pick me up? <laughs> what? A good bowl of good old corn, corn flakes. flakes. Yeah. Nothing better for mm -hmm. a quick pick-me-up. Traditional cereal for traditional art. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think we've got one last incoming call, perhaps. Yeah. Why don't we check Let's and see. see? Yeah. I hear it. Oh, okay. Hello? Happy anniversary. Being an artsy person myself, I find your webcast quite visually appealing. Who, who exactly does your graphics and videos? Well, these questions tonight are great. I mean, yeah, who does our graphics and videos? Well, you're you're looking at part of it right here, David. This is this is that, that's it. And, and me, and yeah. plus the help of our production companies, right. they do help with that mm -hmm. also. So I think we've got and a little something. Big buck. And big buck. Of He's course, our inspiration. Absolutely, big buck. Yeah. So why don't we uh, show them what we got on our graphics? Here we go. Do I look like a demented pork yeah. raiser? Yes. Something new. Here it is. Ooh, the art of. The art of. The art of what? That's the, the question. The art of blank. The art of everything. like you might have noticed that some of the artists had available storage. Some, yeah, it looked like but a control number. Mm -hmm. What type of system was uh, 
are used in museums as well, far as the numbering system. A lot of museums will use, uh, they'll usually put, what they'll do, they'll put the year first. Mm -hmm. And like if it's a, the first back you get what it looks like, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a woman in a red dress, right, woman in a red dress, they got the dimensions, perhaps your image gets separated from your file. It looks great, hey. You're getting better. Yeah, I'm working Hey, they are getting better and better. That's, that's why I need to keep coming back once you know what's going on. That's right. Shows what throwing pots will do, man. Oh yeah, that's a well, that's a trip. Pushing clay, Jeez. pumping art. <laughs> I do, man. Kind of close there. <laughs> yeah, right. we're we're tight. We're, we're tight. But right. you know what? I'm gonna say one thing about our graphics. Mm, 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 good. good. That's... You know that makes me think. Why well, yes. Campbell's good tomato Campbell's soup. Tomato soup. Yeah. Mm, good on mm, a winter night like this. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> so, well, I think that's been a pretty good special anniversary this yeah. year. We've had a lot of good times and a lot of fun and. Just want to thank everybody that has taken the time to, to join us mm -hmm. and watch us and support us. And like again, we, we miss you, Charles. We wish you could be here, and come, we come look back, forward to getting back together back with, with you. Us. And I just want to take a minute to wish everybody. You know, we got, we're in the month of December. We've got mm -hmm. a good Christmas time coming up. I wish everybody a merry, merry Christmas. Christmas, happy, happy New, New Year. Year. And so, I'm looking forward. You want to try another year of our stream on? I'm up for it. You know, we're too dumb to quit. That's right. And too hard-headed to stop, so I say, let's do another <laughs> year. Right. All right. And be sure to watch our credits all the way to the end, because you never know. You never know. That's absolutely mm -hmm. right. Well, thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. Good, Good night. night.